And my name's Stuart Holm. I farm with my wife in the Holbrook area. We're on about 1,600 acres. A mixed farming operation, uh, growing dry land wheat, canola, and also joining around about 13 to 1,500 crossbred ewes each year for second cross land production. Um, and as a, a further sideline, we also run a deciduous tree nursery business. Um, so we do container trees, mainly for councils, be the, the biggest um, customer for us. I'm a fifth generation farmer, um, and I think it was uh, maybe the fourth generation was the one who built the last set of sheep yards on the property, and that was probably about 50 years ago. So we we're a bit long overdue for a bit of change of infrastructure. Like any infrastructure, you need to find the dollars for it, and uh, it's one of those jobs that gets put off for as, as long as you can until uh, everything gets too hard. So the reality of not having good infrastructure is that you end up not doing the right management at the right time. So that's probably the biggest rationale for, for doing something with ProWay. Across the road, which is where the original yards are that were, as I said, around 50 years old now, those yards um, are the ones that we would normally use, um, but those yards also were pretty substandard, so we really didn't have much at all that we were working with before. I'd been thinking about this for quite a few years, and I knew that we were going to be spending somewhere between fifteen and a hundred thousand dollars, or something like that. Um, and that's just not money you've got in cash flow. Uh, we just haven't got the scale to be able to do that. Uh, we were only really, you know, 1,300 ewes, it's not a big operation, but um, you still need good facilities. It doesn't matter whether you've got 1,300 ewes or you know, 5,000 ewes, you're still going to need good facilities to try and do the right management. Finding a, a way to fund it was, the, was probably the trick, you know, so we use uh, um, advisors from over at Daniloquin and uh, I think they are the first ones who told us about that Farm Innovation Fund, which the Rural Assistance Authority of New South Wales had put up, uh, which was reasonably cheap money to borrow, uh, 2%, and up to 20 year repayment of the loan, and you just can't get that sort of term in commercial uh, lending. The Farm Innovation Fund it seemed to be a pretty good option really for, for investing in infrastructure that was pretty badly needed. Uh, it's, it's quite broad, uh, it's for any permanent infrastructure, um, so something like sheep yards or a shearing shed, even the shed over the facility, so uh, yeah all of those things all fall within that bracket. It means that uh, we've probably got payments of about 2600 every quarter um, for the next 20 years and so that's quite achievable. We approached ProWay after going to the Handy Machinery Field Days and having a look at a, a few different options. We spoke to a designer by the name of Damien Halloway, who's a local from the Wagga area. I think just struck up a rapport with him, so I believe that we had a fair bit of trust in him and in what he was delivering. And uh, he seemed to get designs to us, was listening to what we were asking for. In my own head, I had a, a bit of an idea on what I thought might work. It's, it's one of those things that um, when you've wanted something for a long time, you do a lot of, um, a lot of thinking about, or a lot of visualisation about you know, what you eventually might end up with that will make your job easier and you know, more enjoyable. For many years, you know, we've done that sheep work out in the sun, and uh, it, if there's anything that'll stress you out, it's in full sun and the flies are in your face, and uh, you know, the sheep start jumping around or not behaving, or the sheep don't want to run the way that you want them to run. So yeah, we've done, I guess the shed is one thing, the slab is another. So working on the concrete there that you're not working in mud and it's all bogged up. Um, water, uh, well obviously if you've got a shed, we're in the middle of a drought at the moment, any sort of water capture is a bit of a no-brainer as well. So yeah, now we've put a bit of thought into it. Well today we're just running the main mob of ewes through, there's about a thousand older ewes there that we're running through and checking udders. If the udders are no good, the teeth are no good, then those ewes go out and we're only retaining those ewes that we need. Uh, I think this is the first time I've done this for many years and it's usually because it's a hard job to do if you haven't got good facilities. So it's nice to be able to do that job at the correct time of the year and, um, and the, the payback will be that you're not feeding those animals that you don't need. Um, I've got a young bloke here helping me, but 
What a lot of us farmers are working with these days is if you went back 50 or 100 years, our labour force was probably five times or more. These days, it's you, uh, you pared it down right to the bare bones, so you really do need to have um, facilities or systems in place on your farm that allow you to do the work yourself as much as possible. Utilising bugle type designs, the serpentine works well, it seems to be feeding into that combi clamp really well. The bulk handler that we've got here, they're all things that make it much easier for one person. I think the average age of farmers is up over 60. All those things you've got to take into account. You need to be able to do the work, get it done at the right time, um, still enjoy it and we can get the job done without um, putting a heap of stress on those sheep. Safety of the animals, that's another thing I would say about the yard design and the way they're made, you know, the way you approach your uh, husbandry of your animals. Uh, a lot of those things have been taken into account there as well. So the yard design here is quite optimal. There's hardly any noise at all going on there while we've been working our way through these ewes here. Uh, there's less stress on the animals, so that's going to affect productivity down the track, so, as well as it's more pleasant to be in there and not having a heap of noise anyway, I think. Uh, look, I found pro -A really good, and uh, we spoke a bit earlier about relationships. You have to have a bit of trust in those people you're working with. Uh, you think about, you go and concrete in all these posts and shed and everything else, and if it's not right, then you know, you've got to, <laughs> you've got to put up with that for a long time. So I um, always had plenty of faith in ProWay that they knew what they were doing. They were arguably leaders in the industry with uh, yard design and construction. If you are lacking in infrastructure or you've got infrastructure that's substandard that's making your job harder then you really want to consider doing this. It is absolutely worthwhile. I've found that yeah, I've, I've had a really good experience with them and yeah, I'd be more than happy to recommend them to other people who are thinking about doing something down this track.